Well, hello again. Good afternoon. Um, going to continue on that on the series, twelve steps to uh, write a book. Just briefly go over what what we've covered so far. Um, there are twelve steps, and so number one was space. Uh, number two was tools. Number three title of the book, uh, number four, ideas for a story, uh, number five was the DDN formula, uh, description, dialogue, narration, um, and today we're going to do number six. Number six is time for writing, um, and try to do the best thing that we can do for writing, I guess, and I've always thought the best thing to do is just try to do something every day, especially if you're writing a story, because if you're writing a story, you have to keep on the ideas and stay with it and then you're changing the story and it's flowing and if you can't remember where you left off it's going to be a little bit difficult if you don't write every day you'll forget the names of the people in the, in the book so every day is i think the best every other day i guess would be okay and so we're going to talk about time and the, so the first thing i thought i'd talk about is some expressions in time there are some famous ones um and everybody knows Albert Einstein. Uh, he said the uh, about time. Time prevents everything from happening at once, <laughs> and that's kind of true. <laughs> and he also had another one. He said time is an illusion. And if you think about that, that's really amazing. It's it's there, but it's not there. It's almost like a magical thing. Uh, another one is. Uh, this is, this is somebody else. I don't know who wrote this. Time is free and priceless. Usually we think of things that are priceless. Usually they're valuable for some reason, gold or diamonds or something. But time is basically everybody has it. It's all over the place. It's kind of like sunshine. <clears throat> um, time flies, but memories last forever. It's another famous one. Um, to say I don't have time is saying I don't want to. So I guess if you say you don't you don't have time, that goes back to make time. We try to make time to do things, so we can always make time. Mm, buy time, I guess. Time flies over us but leaves a shadow. That's kind of a nice one too, I think. Um, there's always a first time. It seems like that is true, you know. Even no matter what your age is, there's always a first time for something. It's it happens. It's that's really amazing, I think. Um, one day at a time. That's what they always say. Live one day at a time. Um, I don't know. I guess that's true. If you, if we use the cycles, you know, we, it's daytime, it's nighttime. Uh, that's the way it is. We have a calendar. We look at the calendar all the time. We check the dates from January, February, March, and then there's and depending on where you live, there are seasons. So that's we follow it. It's really amazing. Um, um, one thing I always th remember about time is sometimes, no matter what our age is, we always live um, our life with other people. And I'm sure everybody has memories and albums of old pictures of themselves when they're little growing up. And all these people that are in our mind from some attachment or something that we had, I, I remember, I think I first became aware of time was when I went to my father's funeral. I was seven. And I remember being there, and I thought, that was, I think, time really hit me there, I think. Um, and then a few things after that happened, uh, like a friend of mine was killed in that car accident. I was in, I was in the car, and I, again, it just seems like that time is, I mean, you think about those people that are at that time that we met, they're still alive in your mind. <laughs> it's really amazing. So, so taking this all back to writing, you know, all of these memories and ideas that we have all come back somehow. And I write a lot of poetry, and I'm just going to show you some of my books. This is the first book I wrote. It was it's called Inflexation. I wrote this book. And the best thing about this is this book here. I wrote this book years ago, and then I published it, and then I sent it to Kurt Vonnegut, and he sent me a postcard, which was awesome. And I was so surprised when I got it, and I thought this famous writer, and he said, you know, I, you know, I got your book, and uh, 
my poems, you know, uh, say good things to him, something like that. And that was awesome. Um, the next book that I, I was into poetry a lot. And so I started writing poetry when I was seven years old. And then this book, uh, Fences, I wrote. Uh, again, this is another book uh, with ideas about life. And then from there I wrote, I got interested in wine. And so I started writing about wine and then it became food and all kinds of drinks. And so it's poetry, poetry of food and drink. I wrote that book. And uh, another one I wrote, this was just I, a lot of ideas about songs and things because I play the guitar. It's called Warblings. I, I compared it to bird singing. And then this one is like a romantic book of poetry. I wrote, Are You Casablanca? I always liked the movie Casablanca. And, uh, and so that's the title of that book. And then um, the first book I wrote was called Expression, this book. And I wrote, I wrote this book when I had knee surgery. I started it, I remember. And it took me five years to write this book. I mean, it's a lot of writing and an interesting book there, uh, I think. And then my next book was called Awake, Sleep, or Dreaming Dead. And this book, I think, took about three and a half years or so to get done. And again, I, I, everything's changing while you're writing these things, the cover and all this. Um, and then my, my last book that I wrote was, is called Dream Killer. And this book is the first book of a series. And the series is called Bedtime Stories and Dreams. And it's about you know, about dreaming and stories that people tell us and, you know, family, grand, your grandparents or, and so that's what this is about. And it's, it kind of goes into the series. And the uh, second book is called The Tribe and that book is gonna be coming out uh, this spring. And then there's a third book uh, and that'll be coming out, I don't know when, maybe in next year. Like I said, it takes about two years to write a book. So again, we, you know, you go back to time, uh, uh, I think it's interesting time, we, like we say, we make time. Um, and I would just say the, the other thing is just, um, uh, there's, we always say there's never enough time. It always seems to be there's never enough time. But it doesn't change. It, there's always a, a, the same amount of time. Uh, so awake, asleep, you're, you know, time doesn't matter what you're doing. Time doesn't wait for you, basically. Uh, and then I, I just go back, I'll read just, I think the best thing to do is just do something every day. I mean, if you want to finish this story, you got to do it every day and you got to stay on it and you got to maybe you add characters and you change the characters, but you got to stay on it every day and keep it in your mind. And you're always thinking about it and it's kind of bubbling and it doesn't go away if you keep doing it every day. And then if you put it in a computer, which is so easy today, you don't need a typewriter. I mean, you can write things down, but you can do everything in a computer and then you can easily digitize it and make an ebook or a print book or audio book or whatever you want to do with it. So it's never been the time, this is the best time, <laughs> I think, to write a book. So with that, good luck and goodbye.